take control, to live life with a new perspective, living your best life every day. Intentional Living with KLBK's Terry Furman, sponsored by UMC Health System. It's always so fun giving gifts to children during the holidays and seeing their eyes light up with joy. But before you get those presents wrapped or send a list to Santa, here are some things you need to remember. There are warnings and labels on every single toy, but most people ignore them. And those labels have been developed for a reason. UMC pediatrician Dr. Zutoni says you have to make sure that toys are age appropriate. A lot of them, especially with the smaller kids, are designed because there are things that can detach, there are pieces that can pop off, there are small things that even though they seem fun and might be something that your younger child might want to play with, they're not appropriate because if they are a kid that is uh, somebody that's going to put something in their mouth, they can potentially choke on it, swallow it even and get lodged somewhere. You also have to think about the ages of the other children in the house. Yeah, I have a five-year-old, but I also have a, a one-year-old crawling around. Well, probably that big, you know, small Lego set's not the great idea, or the Shopkins. Once kids are old enough to know not to put things in their mouths, we don't worry as much, but we should. Um, as we get a little bit older, more the school-age kids, uh, there is an age appropriateness that's labeled on there, not just because of degree of difficulty of playing with the toy, but also maybe appropriateness of the toy. And, uh, you know, some of the DIY products and things like that, they're really not meant to play with unless you have an adult supervising. The hardest things to gauge for kids are video games. A lot of the video games have a warning that are completely ignored 99% of the time, but these products can ingrain certain behaviors in your children. And so we always worry about, you know, a child playing a video game. Uh, there's a lot of violence in it. There's a lot of graphicness in it. And really even just understanding the overall meaning behind it. Uh, you know, if you have a 20 year old that's playing the same game as a 10 year old, it's probably not appropriate. And Christmas is the most popular time for ride on toys. Anything where you're moving on a surface, you need to have a helmet, period. Uh, I don't care if they're going two miles an hour. Uh, yeah, I'm just in my driveway. She's just learning. It doesn't take a high impact. It doesn't take a lot of speed. It just takes a hit in that right, perfect spot. And then just like you're getting them used to putting that seatbelt on or sitting in their car seat, it's just something they always do. Don't make it a choice. It's always there, period. Perfect. For more information on toy safety, you can log on to safekids.org.